Hello friends, this is DK Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Point. So friends, in this video, I will tell you how to write the logic for this star pattern program. Okay, so to understand the logic is very important. In the first row, we are printing 5 star. Okay, and here we are printing in the first column, we are printing 5 star. Okay, so based on this, I need to write the logic. Also, in the second row, I need to print 4 star. Third row, I need to print 3 star. Fourth row, I need to print two star, and the fifth row, I need to print only one star. So, what we understand here, star value is decreasing, and our row value is increasing. So, when our row value will increase, our star value will be decreased. So, right now, I am having five star in a row. Okay, maximum five star. In future, it can be a ten star or it can be a twenty five star. So. We will write a dynamic program. Let's open my Visual Studio IDE. Here I need to add one class. Friends, if you want video in Hindi, please help me with your board. You just need to click on this community tab. And here poll is created. It will take hardly one to two seconds for you. So please help me with your board. Please understand this program very carefully because there are two or three more upcoming videos will be based on this program. I will uh, not explain again and again logic so logic will be same and i also tell you how this program will work and so that you can understand so i will execute and dry run this program okay so i will give the name as star pattern now in this i need to write my logic so here i need to create a main method in the main method first what i can do is so we will ask user to provide some input so what I can write here, uh, I will say uh, console dot write line, console dot write line, and I will ask user enter a number. So this number I need to store in some variable. So I need to create one variable. Suppose the variable name is num, and I need to read the value, whatever the value entered by the uh, user. Also, I need to convert this value into the integer type because by default it is uh, string value so convert dot to into 32 now i need to write loop so for loop what i need i need one for loop here and here i need to provide the data type and so first in this we can see row and column i will give user friendly name so first i need to print the row so the row is equal to one row less than equal to uh, num num is nothing but entered value and row plus plus okay guys now inside this for loop i need one more for loop and this loop is very important to print the column value so the data type integer and i will say the column name and the value is call because it will print the column value so user friendly name i am taking and i will start from this row so row whenever the row will start this value will start okay suppose in the first row it will start from one okay and the call less than equal to num call plus plus and here i need to print the value so what i write here console dot write okay i have to use write here i will not use write line this is done and then after printing this I need to jump to the next line because next row. So next row is nothing but console dot write line. Okay, guys. Then after this completion of this loop, I need to read. I need to check the output. So console dot read line. So guys, my program is done. Now try to understand the logic. I will dry run this program. Suppose user entered the value is five. Okay, as per this uh, program. Okay, guys. So how this loop will work and how this loop will work i need to tell you so let's try to dry run this what will be the row value row value is starting from one so let's give here one and it will check the condition row less than equal to num num value is five num value is five so this condition is satisfied if this condition is satisfied then it will go inside this okay if this goes inside it will found another for loop and here we need to check this loop so call is equal to row row is first first here row value is one so 
here column value is 1, row is nothing but 1, call value is 1 now, and call less than equal to num, condition is true because num value is 5, and column value is here 1. Okay, so condition is true, and then condition is true, it will come inside this, and it will print this star here. Okay, and printing the star, it will also print 1 space. Okay, like this. Now, it will increase the value of call, call plus plus. Now, column value is 2. So, it will check the condition, call less than equal to num. Condition is true because call value is 2 and num value is 5. And 2 is less than num. 2 is less than 5. Okay. So, condition is true here. True. And then it will come inside and it will print again one more star. Okay. Now, again it will come here and it will increase the value of this call plus plus. So, call plus plus now call value is 3. Now, call value is 3. It will check the condition. 3 less than equal to num. Yes, condition is true. If the condition is true, then it will print the star. Okay. Now, it will increase the value of column again. So, the column value is 4. Now, it will check the condition. Call value is 4. Num value is 5. Num value is not getting changed. Okay, guys. Here, this condition is again true. So, condition is true, then it will print the star. Okay. Now, again, it will increase the value of call. Call now value is 5. And then it will check the condition. Call less than equal to num. Or we can say 5 less than num. No, because num value is 5. And then call equal to num. Yes, condition is true. It is not less than, but it is equal. So, condition is true. Then if the condition is true, it will come here and it will print the star again. Now, it will increase the value of column again. Now, column value is 6. The column value is 6 and num value is 5. Is 6 less than num? Is 6 less than 5? No, condition is not true. Is 6 is equal to 5? No, condition is not true. So, this condition is not true. It means it will not come inside. Okay. And it will come outside. And then it will print the next line. So, next, next line will be here. Okay. And it will come here. So, this complete line is printed. So, this complete row is printed. Now, our loop is coming here. Now, let's understand it. And let's uh, remove this. So, now I am in the next row. And here again, I no need it. So, console.write line. And then it will increase the value of row. Now, row value is 2. And it will check the condition. 2 is less than equal to num. Num value is 5. Condition is true. Condition is true. Then it will come again inside this. Okay. Now, it will start again. So, call value is now 2. Because here we can see 2. So, row, row value is now 2. So, it will start from 2. Okay. Now, 2. So, this call less than equal to num. Num is 5. Call is 6. So, yes, it is satisfied. So, it will print the star. Okay, guys. Now, it will again increase the value of call. Now, column value is 3. So, column value is 3. Now, this condition is true. If this condition is true, it will print the star. Okay. Now, again, it will increase the value of column. Now, column value is 4. And then, the column value is 4. And the num value is 5. So, condition is true. If the condition is true, it will come inside and print the star. Now, again, it will increase the value of column. Now, column value is 5. And then, this condition is again true because the call 5 is equal to 5. The condition is true. Condition is true. Then, it will come inside and print the star. Again, the column value call plus plus. Call plus plus is nothing but 6. And then, this condition is not satisfied now because 6 is not less than 5. And also, 6 is not equal to 5. So, this condition is not true. Now, this row is printed and and controller will come here and print this line. So, it will jump here and it will jump into the next line. Okay. So, now this loop is also done. Okay, guys. Now, remove this because it is not required. Now, this row is printed and then row value is again increased. So, the row value is increased and this condition is true. Now, column value is 3 because it is 3. So, it will start from 3. So, in the third row, it will print 3 star. Okay, guys. And like the same thing, in the fourth row, it will print 
2 is star because here value will be 4 and 4 and 5 and it will print only 2 star like this. So like this guys, this uh, program will work. Now these are the unused lines. So I can remove those lines. Okay guys. And I can save this and I can run this program. Now I need to enter some value. So suppose I am giving as user entered 5. So we can see our output. Now in future, I want to print a different value. So suppose I will say the user entered the value is 25. So this is a dynamic program guys. So guys, you can see the output is printed as expected. Okay guys. So always try to write your logic dynamic because if you will directly assign the value like uh, 5 and you will not write this line then it is not make any sense actually it makes sense but it is not a good practice good practice is always you need to write your logic as dynamic as possible okay guys so i hope you understand the logic all the doubts are clear if you still have any doubt in this program you can ask me through comment we'll see you in the next video thank you guys for watching this video if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe our channel also provide your feedback